Also learning more about the teenage boy killed in a car crash this week. Marcus Rogers was just 16 years old. And that crash happened in Winchester in Litchfield County on Tuesday. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Dylan Fearon is live right now with more on the victims here and, and really more on what happened. It's just so tragic, Dylan. Well, Mark, Aaron, you said it. As you can imagine, it's been a tough couple of days for this area. Earlier today, we spoke to Marcus's high school hockey coach, Dean Diamond. He told me, Dylan, Marcus was the typical 16-year-old boy. He loved his family, he loved his friends, he loved hockey, and he was an extremely hard worker. It's something I think you never get over. You just learn how to live with it. Marcus Rogers had dreams. He wanted to go to college, major in finance, take over his dad's business. You wake up the next morning and you, you real, the next day and his dreams are all shattered. Tuesday night, Housatonic hockey coach Dean Diamond was running practice. Marcus, a junior, never made it. I'm asking around, where's Marcus? And all the kids were like, he's coming. You know, they all knew he was coming. And then after practice, I went right to my phone and checked. And I'm like, wow, Marcus didn't text. That's not like him. You know, and then you wake up in the morning and it's your worst nightmare. You know, you wake up to horror. Marcus and his grandfather, William O'Leary, were killed in a car crash on the way to practice. This certainly is something that could have definitely been avoided. Winchester police believe a car driving in the opposite direction drove over a double yellow line into the wrong lane, hitting the car O'Leary and Marcus were in. Two people in the other car were injured. There was a box truck and he was trying to pass the box truck for some reason. A grandfather and grandson killed. Today, a cross with their names on it lies where the crash happened. People have added to the memorial with hockey sticks and flowers. It's a tragedy that what happened, it shouldn't have happened. You know, he was doing what he loves on the way to practice, doing nothing wrong. The hockey community in Litchfield County is rallying around Marcus's family and team. Marcus was on the Housatonic team for two years while attending Oliver Wolkett Technical High School. The kids are all brokenhearted. It's just an unthinkable tragedy to lose a child. Now the team's next game is set for Saturday. There was some question whether or not the game would have to be moved because of what happened on Tuesday. But Marcus's teammates rallied around their coaches and Marcus's family. They want to play the game on Saturday. They have the support from Marcus's parents and coaches, so they will play their game on Saturday. Mark and Aaron, we also know that one of Marcus's teammates will wear Marcus's number 20 jersey during the game on Saturday. After the game, number 20 will be retired. We're live in Winchester tonight. I'm Dylan Fear in Channel 3 Eyewitness News. You just